All right, guys, I'm Nicole. Um, I put out a little questionnaire about what you guys might want to see in these videos, and so many of you said you wanted to see sweaty flow, you wanted some butt kickers, you wanted um, to play and have funky sequences and maybe have some arm balance options. This class is for you. We are gonna start in a child's pose. So knees to the edges of the mat, hips to the heels, arms extend out long in front of you. See if you can let the forehead rest on the floor here, knowing that there's lots of movement coming your way, but I think it's important that we start from a place of stillness and from a place of having dropped in. Walk the fingertips even a little bit closer to the top of the mat so that you're lengthening out down the side bodies. On your next exhale, let's walk both hands over to the right side of the mat, pressing left hand on top of the right and shifting the left shoulder down just slightly, opening up down left side body. And then using an inhale, walk the hands back through center and exhale over to the other side. Right hand presses on top of left, right shoulder shifts down. Inhale to walk the hands back through center. Engage finger pads, knuckle pads into the mat as you inhale, roll up the spine, finding your tabletop position, wrists under shoulders, knees under hips. Come up onto the fingertips, actively round through the back body, tucking tailbone towards floor, chin in towards the chest, back of the heart towards the sky. We're gonna stay on the fingertips as if you are coming into cat pose, cow pose. I get them mixed up. Pull the heart through, head and neck in line with the spine. We're gonna keep this opening of the heart. Now bend into the elbows, letting them graze the side bodies and tap the chin and chest to the floor. Stay on the fingertips if you can. On your exhale, press back up as you do round through the back body, tuck tailbone towards floor, chin and towards chest. Inhale, open the heart to the front of the room. Elbows graze the rib cage as you tap chin and chest to the floor. And then exhale, press up, active round through the back body. One more time, inhale, open the heart, elbows, graves, rib cage, tap to the mat. And then exhale to press up as you do round through the back body. And release palms down to the floor, curl onto the toes. Lift the knees to a hover above the mat. On your exhale, we're just gonna straighten out the legs, shifting forward into a plank pose. And then keep the hips as low as you can, step the right knee into the chest, and then the left knee into the chest, and then the right leg back, and then the left leg back. Pull the left knee into the chest. The right knee into the chest, left leg back, right leg back. Elbows stay in. As you exhale, lower halfway, hover, pause and hold. Breathe. Knees can always drop. On your inhale, press up, high plank. With an exhale, send the hips back, downward dog. Pedal at the feet, bending into one knee and then the other knee, shifting hips side to side. And come up high onto the toes, deep bend into the knees. With your exhale, step or hop the feet, top of the mat, forward fold. Inhale, half lift, lengthen. Open the mouth for your exhale, release. Inhale, rise, come all the way through standing, palms to touch overhead, gaze up to the fingertips. With your exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, half lift, lengthen. Exhale to release, plant the hands, step back into a high plank, and pause. Again, knees can drop down at any point that you need it, shift your weight forward and back. Maybe even taking some circles on the wrists. And then switching direction of the circles. Elbows stay in on your exhale, lower halfway down, pause and hold. Inhale, up dog, pull the heart through or come to the belly, baby cobra. And then exhale, send the hips up and back, downward facing. On your next inhale, sweep the right toes high. On your exhale, shift forward, right knee taps right elbow. Inhale to kick back. Exhale to the left elbow. Inhale to kick back. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale to kick back. On your exhale, shift forward, right knee, right elbow, and pause. You can either come up onto left fingertips or sweep left hand to the front of the room. Drop the left hand back down. Kick the right toes back, three-legged down dog. With your exhale, right knee into the chest, step the foot through. 
pivoting into skandasana. Hips on top of right heel, so we're still at the top of the mat. Left leg is straight, left toes point up. You can either keep hands to the floor for support or palms to touch at the heart. Keep the hips as low as you can as you inhale through center and then exhale, shift over to the left. Inhale back through center and over to the right. On your next exhale, we're gonna pivot to the right, coming into a twisted lunge. Come onto the ball of the left foot as left elbow hooks to the outside of right knee. And then keeping this twist of the upper body, see if you can hover the left elbow off of the right knee so you're using just the strength of your core to find the twist of the upper body. Ground through right heel, inhale, open up, warrior two, left foot spins flat, gazes over right middle finger, and then we're gonna flex out the hands. So as if you're trying to pull the middle fingers back towards the head. Inhale to reverse your warrior, keep the hands flexed. This is great for carpal tunnel things. Extended side angle, right fingertips come forward and down. Sweep left hand all the way to the front of the room. Then from here, we're also gonna sweep right hand forward. If that's too much for the low back, let it go. On your exhale, frame out the right foot. Come onto the ball of the left foot, kick the right toes all the way back, three-legged down dog. On your exhale, see if you can shift forward, tap right toes to right wrist or wherever they land. Inhale to kick back. Exhale, either right knee, left elbow, or right toes, left wrist. Inhale to kick back. Keep the right toes lifted, roll forward, three-legged plank. Either a three-legged vinyasa or straight back, downward dog. On your next inhale, left toes sweep high. With your exhale, shift forward, left knee to the left elbow. Inhale to kick. Exhale to the right elbow. Inhale to kick back. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale to kick back. On your exhale, left knee, left elbow. Pause here and hold it. Maybe you come up onto right fingertips. Maybe right hand sweeps forward. And dropping right hand down, kick the left toes all the way back, three-legged down dog. On your exhale, knee into the chest, step the foot all the way through. Pivot to the right, skandasana. So hips on top of left heel, still at the top of the mat, right leg is straight, right toes point up. Keeping hips as low as you can on your inhale, come back through center and over to the right. Inhale through center, exhale to the left. Keep the palms to touch at the heart if you can. On your exhale, pivot to the ball of the right foot, twisted lunge. Right elbow hooks to outside of left knee, and then see if you can use the strength of your core to hover the right elbow off of left knee just an inch. On your inhale, open up, warrior two. Right foot spins flat, gazes over left middle finger. Flex out the hands here, so fingers are active. See if you can pull middle fingers towards the face, even just a little bit, but then straighten out through the arms. Inhale, reverse your warrior. On your exhale, extended side angle, left fingertips forward and down. Sweep the right hand all the way to the front of the room. Either stay here or left hand also reaches forward. On your exhale, frame out the left foot. Kick the left toes all the way back, three-legged down dog. On your exhale, see if you can tap left toes to left wrist. Inhale to kick back. Exhale, either left knee, right elbow, or left toes to right wrist. Inhale to kick back. Keep the left toes lifted, roll forward, three-legged plank. Pause for a moment. Either add on your three-legged vinyasa or send the hips straight back, downward dog. Take three cycles of breath right here. Long inhales, slow exhales. Letting your down dog be an activated resting shape. And then articulating each vertebrae one at a spine on your exhale, each vertebrae in the spine one at a time. On your exhale, ripple forward, high plank. Take a bend into the knees, let the tailbone pull the hips back, downward dog, so we're rolling out the dog. Exhale, roll forward, high plank. Bend into the knees, let the tailbone pull the hips back. One more time, exhale, high plank. Bend into the knees, tailbone pulls the hips back, downward dog. 
On your next exhale, step, walk, or hop the feet to the top of the mat. Forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift, long spine. Open the mouth for the exhale, release. Deep bend in the knees. Inhale, come up, chair pose, sending hips back, heart forward. Arms extend out long in front of you. And then maybe you sink even a little deeper. Release arms to airplane wings beside you. Shift your weight into the toes so that the heels lift high up off the floor, squeezing inner thighs in towards each other, knees in towards each other. And then stay on the toes while you play with straightening out the legs and lifting the hips. Heart dives forward. Release the heels down, hands down. One vertebrae at a time, roll all the way up to standing. Eventually extending arms all the way up overhead, palms to touch, gaze up to the fingertips. On your exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen the spine. Exhale to release, plant the hands, step or hop, or always option to play with a crow pose or an inversion meeting eventually in a downward dog. We're gonna take that last flow one more time, a little bit quicker, inhale, right toes sweep high. Exhale, right knee, right elbow. Inhale, back. Exhale to the left. Inhale to kick. Exhale, knee into the chest, this time just step all the way through. Pivot to the left, skandhasana, hips on top of right heel, palms to touch at the heart as you keep the hips low, shift all the way to the left. This time, come up, warrior two, right foot plants, gaze over right middle finger. Inhale, come right back down, warrior two, or sorry, skandhasana. Hips stay low as you come back through center, shift all the way over to the right. Palms stay to touch at the heart on your exhale, twist to the right. Low lunge twist, left elbow to the outside of right knee. And then keeping the twist, see if you can hover left elbow off of right knee just an inch. On your inhale, open up warrior two, left foot spins flat. Flex out the hands, pulling middle fingers back towards body. Sink even a little deeper in right knee, and then inhale, reverse your warrior. On your exhale, extended side angle, right fingertips forward and down, left hand all the way to the front of the room. Either stay here or right hand also reaches forward. On your exhale, cartwheel hands to frame out right foot. Kick the right toes back, three-legged down dog. On your exhale, right toes, tap right wrist. Inhale to kick back. Exhale, right toes, tap left wrist. Inhale to kick back. Keep the right toes lifted, roll forward, three-legged plank. Either hanging out right here or maybe you come up onto left fingertips, or maybe left hand sweeps forward. Bring left hand back down, come to the outside edge of left foot, right fingertips sweep up high, side plank on the left side. Circle the right hand all the way to the front of the room. On your inhale, come back through center, high plank, either adding on a vinyasa or send the hips straight back, meeting eventually in a downward dog. All right, last time, last side for this flow. Inhale, left toes sweep high. On your exhale, left knee to the left elbow. Inhale to kick back. Exhale to the right elbow. Inhale to kick back. Exhale, knee into the chest, step the foot all the way through. Keep the hips low, pivot to the right, skandhasana. So the hips are on top of left heel at the top of the mat. Maybe palms come to touch at the heart. Keep the hips low as you come all the way through center and over to the right. Pausing here, inhale up, warrior two, left foot plant, arms extend long. On your next inhale, come right back down, skandhasana, back of the mat, hips on top of right heel. And then shift forward, hips on top of the left heel, right leg stays straight, right toes point up. We're gonna find our twist to the left, pivoting to the ball of the right foot, right elbow hooks the outside of the left knee. Keep the twist of the upper body. Now see if you can hover the right elbow off of left knee just an inch. On your inhale, open up warrior two. Last time here, reach long through the fingertips and then flex out the hands. With your inhale, reverse. On your exhale, extended side angle, left fingertips forward and down, right hand sweeps all the way to the front of the room. 
either hanging out here or left hand also reaches forward. Cartwheel the hands to frame out the left foot. Kick all the way back, three-legged down dog. On your exhale, left toes tap left wrist. Inhale to kick back. Exhale, left toes tap the right wrist. Inhale to kick back. Exhale, roll forward, three-legged plank. Either hanging out here or right hand, or sorry, right fingertips to the floor, or maybe right hand forward. Both hands, both feet to the floor. Either a vinyasa or straight back downward dog. Next exhale, let's ripple spine forward, high plank, wrist under shoulders. Bend into the knees, let the tailbone pull the hips back downward dog, rolling out the dog two more times. Exhale forward, high plank. Bend into the knees, tailbone tractions, the hips back. Exhale, roll forward, high plank, and pause. Either one arm at the same time or both at the same time. Let's drop the elbows to the floor, forearm plank. So elbows are underneath the shoulders, press the floor away. We're starting our sequence here. Walk the toes in towards the elbows, dolphin pose. Kicking heels towards the floor and pull the heart back towards the thighs. Totally throwing you guys into the fire here. We're going to peel forward into a chaturanga. So press into all 10 finger pads and knuckle pads. See if you can keep the 90 degree uh, bend in the elbows, but then roll forward, elbows hug the rib cage. Lift the right toes to a hover above the mat. Kick all the way back, three-legged down dog. Bend into the knee, open the hip, and come all the way to wild thing, but slow down the transition. So right toes drop all the way behind you as the right hand peels off the floor. Take the right hand into a fist and roll out the wrist here. And then switch direction of the circles. On your inhale, come back through center. As the right hand plants, we're going to shift to a side plank on the right side, Vashistasana, left fingertips sweep high. All right, start to hover left foot. Bend the left knee in towards the left rib cage. So you can, if you can get the left piece fingers to hold on to the left big toe. You can stay here with knee bent. You can straighten through the leg. Either way, on your exhale, see if you can keep the grip on the left foot as you step the left toes all the way to the top of the mat. Shift to the ball of the right foot. Okay, keep this grip on the left toes. We're gonna shift all the way forward, standing split. If you need the right hand on the floor for balance, stick with it. If you want a little bit more, right hand could come up to right hip. And then pull the hand, the left finger is on the big toe to traction heart towards left thigh, active point through the right toes. Slow and steady right foot plants next to the left at the top of the mat. Once the right foot lands, Shift your weight into the right heel. Keep the grip on the left toe. We're going to inhale all the way up to standing. Bring the left leg with you. Left leg can either be straight or it's okay if the knee is bent. If it's too much to hold on to the big toe at any point, you can hold on to the left knee. All right, once you're steady underneath right heel, inhale, open the left leg off to the left side of the mat. Right arm can always come out to help your balance. And then you can either stay here or shift the hips back and the heart forward, bringing spine close to parallel with the floor. On your inhale, come back up through center. Left leg extends to the front of the room, and then we're gonna keep left leg long, arms reach up overhead. On your next exhale, lever the upper body forward. Step the left toes all the way to the back of the mat. So finding a power lunge here. As much as you're kicking through left heel, you're reaching through the fingertips. On your exhale, we're going to keep the 45 degree of the upper body, but twist the upper body to the right, stacking right shoulder on top of left. Inhale to come back through center, releasing the twist. Shift so far forward that you're just on the left big toe. And then on your inhale, shift back, come up high crescent lunge. Circle the hands around to interlace at the low back. So you're pulling the heart through the shoulders. On your exhale, find a modified humble warrior. So the right shoulder comes to the right knee, but you're staying on the left toes. Release the hands to frame out the right foot. Step back into your high plank. Pause here for a moment. Optional vinyasa or send the hips straight back, downward dog. Whatever movement you take, connect it with breath. All right, we're gonna do it again. 
one vertebrae at a time, exhale, ripple forward, high plank. Bend into the knees and let the tailbone pull the hips back, downward dog. Two more times, exhale, roll forward. Bend into the knees, tailbone pulls the hips back. Last one, exhale, high plank, pause. Either one hand at a time or both at the same time, drop down to the forearms, forearm plank. Active press the floor away. Find one breath here first. And then walk the toes in towards the elbows, finding dolphin. So kicking heels towards floor, pulling heart towards thighs, and pressing floor away with the elbows. See if you can engage finger pads and knuckle pads to the floor. We're gonna peel forward and do a chaturanga. Elbows hug rib cage. Lift left toes to a hover. On your inhale, kick all the way back. Three-legged down dog. And then bend the knee, open up the hip. You're welcome to hang out right here or slow motion transition all the way into wild thing by dropping left toes behind the back. Left fingertips reach. Take the left hand into a fist and roll out the wrist. And then your inhale, as you come back through center, left hand plants, come to the outside edge of left foot, right fingertips sweep up high. Side plank on the left side. From here, we're gonna start to hover right foot off of left or right knee into the chest. See if you can get the right peace fingers to hold onto the right big toe. And then either with knee bent or you can play with straightening out the leg, slow motion step all the way to the top of the mat. So right foot to the top of the mat. Whoo, gotta catch my breath there. All right, we're gonna keep this grip on the right big toe. Left foot lifts, coming into kind of a standing split shape, but keeping the right toes in the right fingers. If you need the support of the left hand, hang out here. Otherwise, maybe left hand comes to left hip. Equal weight underneath the right foot, and then slow left foot drops next to the right at the top of the mat. Shift your weight into the left foot. Once you're here, find stability first. There's no need to rush the transitions. On an inhale, we'll come all the way to standing. Keeping the right, or bringing the right leg with you. Right leg can either stay extended straight or it can be bent. And then once you feel stable here, open the right leg off to the right side of the mat. Left arm can always come out to the side. If you're working on stability, hang out right here. If you're ready for it, see if you can play with sending the hips back and the heart forward. So bring spine close to parallel with the floor. On your inhale, come back up through center. Right leg extends to the front of the room. Arms reach up overhead. Pull the right toes back. Lift up and out of the waist. On your exhale, lever the upper body forward, right toes step all the way to the back of the mat, finding this power lunge shape. So one long line of energy down the back body. Reach long through the fingertips. On your exhale, finding the twist, drop the right shoulder towards the floor and peel the left shoulder to stack on top of right. On your inhale, release the twist of upper body. Shift your weight so far forward that you're just on the right big toe. On your inhale, come back up through center, high crescent, arms extend, and then circle fingertips around to interlace at the low back. Pull the heart through the shoulders. On your exhale, humble the warrior, left shoulder to the left knee, drop the head, but staying on the right toes. Drop the hands to frame out the left foot. Step all the way back, high plank. Again, taking a full cycle of breath here. And then maybe you add on a vinyasa or send the hips straight back, downward dog. On your next inhale, right toes sweep high. Exhale, step the right foot to the outside of right hand. Drop the hips down and forward, left knee to the floor. You can either stay on the hands or you can lower it onto forearms or bring forearms to a prop. We'll take just a couple cycles of breath, opening up the hips before we take it all the way down. And inhale to press back up to hands. Lift the left knee from the floor. Take a big step forward with left foot, Malasana Yogi Squat. Palms to touch with the heart. Let's interlace all 10 fingers and roll out the wrists. And switch direction of the circles. And coming back through center, fingertips plant between the toes, right foot takes a big step back. Hips down and forward, right knee drops down, 
open the heart to the front of the room first. And then you can stay here or you can lower to forearms or bring forearms to a pop. The last two cycles of breath. Inhale to press back up to the hands. Lift the right knee, take a big step back, high plank. Exhale, lower halfway down, pause, hover. And then lower all the way down to the belly. Untuck the toes. Hands come wider than the mat, tent the fingertips. Inhale to lift the heart, shoulders pull together and down. On your exhale, drop the right shoulder down. Inhale to come back through center. Exhale, left shoulder drops. Inhale to come back through center. Exhale, release the heart to the floor. Hands underneath shoulders. Press all the way back into a child's pose. Taking the next five cycles of breath or so. Just to settle here. <clears throat> 